1926.855, manual removal of floors. 1926.855, a, openings cut in a floor shall extend the full span of the arch between supports. 1926.855, b, before demolishing any floor arch, debris and other material shall be removed from such arch and other adjacent floor area. Planks not less than 2 inches by 10 inches in cross-section, full-size undressed, shall be provided for and shall be used by employees to stand on while breaking down floor arches between beams. Such planks shall be so located as to provide a safe support for the workmen should the arch between the beams collapse. The open space between planks shall not exceed 16 inches. 1926.855 c. Safe walkways not less than 18 inches wide, formed of planks not less than 2 inches thick if wood, or of equivalent strength if metal, shall be provided and used by workmen when necessary to enable them to reach any point without walking upon exposed beams. 1926.855 d. Stringers of ample strength shall be installed to support the flooring planks, and the ends of such stringers shall be supported by floor beams or girders, and not by floor arches alone. 1926.855 e. Planks shall be laid together over solid bearings with the ends overlapping at least one foot. 1926.855 f. When floor arches are being removed, employees shall not be allowed in the area directly underneath, and such an area shall be barricaded to prevent access to it. 1926.855 g. Demolition of floor arches shall not be started until they and the surrounding floor area for a distance of 20 feet, have been cleared of debris and any other unnecessary materials.